Hey guys, welcome back. How was your week? My week? How was my week? Ask my mouth. Um, I had to go to the dentist to get my teeth cleaned for like, it actually had been more than six months because I was due and because we were in Mississippi for only six months, I didn't want to mess with finding a dentist and so I put it off. And so I actually haven't been to the dentist since last May. No big deal. Um, so we went to the dentist on Tuesday, all right? And just for cleanings and whatever with the kids and I and who loves going to the dentist? Raise your hand. Nobody raised their hand. Exactly. I don't mind it. Um, but this time I got some not so good news. I have a crack in the back of my mouth. In, no, not a crack in the back of my mouth. A crack in my tooth. My second to last tooth down here. And it has a filling in it. Mostly a filling. And it's an old filling. It was like one of the first cavities I ever had. Anyways, basically I have more filling than tooth. And so the little bit of tooth that's there is pretty weak and it cracked. So that means on Wednesday, the next day, I went back in to get a filling. And then on Thursday, the day after that, I went in to get a cap put on it, like a temporary crown situation, which feels I hate it. I can't stop touching it with my tongue. It's like jaggedy. It's and it's it's an edge. It reminds me of like when you whiten your teeth and you put in your trays and all you can feel is the edges and it just makes you crazy. Yeah, that's what it's like. So and the reason we're like pushing and rushing it is I'm trying to get my um, actual crown procedure done before my husband leaves, but it's looking like that's not going to happen anyway. So anyways, my mouth has been super sore. It was swollen the the second day that I went because I had been there previously previous like not even 24 hours my mouth swelled up instantly and it just was like we're not having this today but that is good uh french vanilla creamer today just the classic french vanilla you know you can't go wrong with vanilla you know it really is a good staple scent flavor for a reason all right let's get into the favorites first thing i want to talk about actually is my new schedule i had asked you guys in snapchat if you thought maybe a wednesday saturday upload schedule would be cool you know what is this plugged in okay we're good to go it's overcast today so if i look a little dark i don't know what to do about it quite frankly i have two windows in my room two umbrella lights they might not be placed exactly right and a ring light in front of me maybe this needs to come closer i don't i don't know okay so wednesday and saturday i'm thinking like midweek upload and then weekend upload i think that might be a good schedule so that's what we're going to do this year, Wednesday afternoons and Saturday mornings. Elsa, oh my gosh, she's so cute. I got my blinds down though and she's sticking her paws like this in between the slats because I think she sees a bird or a bug. Baby girls, I just fear she's going to ruin those blinds. They're like heavy wood blinds too, so to replace them would cost more than those like chintzy ones, but I prefer these. these are nice. Anyway, if you don't care about my blinds. All right, so I wanted to mention that. All right, let's get into the favorites. So the first favorite, I love this shirt I'm wearing. I wasn't going to talk about it because I got it at TJ Maxx. I don't know if you could find it or not. It's so comfy. It's like, you know, blue Santi. It's very long. It's longer in the back than the front. Let's see if we can do this without spilling my coffee. It's just like a lightweight, cottony. It's like a soft oatmeal cover color. It's beautiful. I really, it was like $16.99 too. So go to TJ Maxx. You might see it. It looks like this. Kind of gives you a little bit of like saggy armpits, but that's okay because it's just super comfy. And then this necklace. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this necklace. So it's from Stella and Dot. A couple of years ago, I had hosted a few parties here with you guys and I had collected quite a few Stella and Dot pieces and I love my Stella and Dot jewelry. There's a few, I can think of like five things that are like my favorite. I've worn them time and time again here, but this piece is newer and it's called the Lariat necklace, Lariat, Lariat. And it's one of those necklaces that goes with everything. I wore this with just, just really comfy stuff yesterday. Like, well, I had on like black skinny jeans with boots and just like a long shirt, basically like this, but in brown. And I just think it's a great, simple, easy way to really dress something up, whether you're wearing just something comfy like this or going to the office and you can adjust this. So it can, you can get a totally different look. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, you can get a totally different look. You can do like a choker style, which I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Um, but the V-neck, that kind of mimics it, you know? But you can wear it like that. You can adjust it to however you stand up, however you want it to look. I love it. I think Still and Dot, it's a great way to get those really well-made pieces. Now, they're going to cost you more than, say, costume jewelry. But I'll tell you what happens to costume jewelry because you used to buy it and wear it all the time. It turns green and it turns funky and eventually you have to just throw it. It'll, like leave marks on your skin and stuff but that's because it's just cheap it's not like real anything 
this is heavy this is made of quality materials and all of my Stella and Dot pieces I, I definitely recommend them now they're gonna cost you more than say going to Forever 21 or Target but not that much more and it's gonna last you longer so sometimes you have to think about quality you know and things so anyways this is definitely a first favorite why does my lighting look dark this makes me crazy it makes me crazy that I have to worry about that when all I want to do is just chat you know what I mean is that better I zoomed you in a little not that I want you to see my horrible hack job bangs that I cut myself I have had an amazing week in wine oh my gosh two wines two wines one for you white lovers and one for you red lovers so let's start with the white I picked this up at HEB H-E-B, for goodness sake, is the first grocery store I've ever encountered in any of the states I've traveled through that has a huge wine selection in the grocery store. Now, Jersey had some nice grocery stores. I loved, um, I'm forgetting the name, not ShopRite, um, Wegmans. Oh my gosh, I loved Wegmans. But H-E-B is pretty cool. They have a huge wine and beer selection, so you don't have to, like, stop it. Like, in Mississippi, for instance, not only do they not sell it, they don't sell wine or liquor in the stores, They in grocery stores. They do sell beer, but they, they have separate stores for wine and liquor than beer. So my husband's a beer drinker. I'm a wine drinker. So I had to go to, like, two, sometimes three places. It was really annoying. <laughs> but anyways, every state's different. So this is Matua, a 2015 Sauvignon Blanc from Z New Zealand. I'm telling you, New Zealand is where it's at for Sauvignons. Just don't even mess around with any other place. Like, this is bomb. This was unexpectedly sweet in the sweetest way. Like, easy, gentle, lovely way, when I say sweet. Um, it's, I don't like really sweet wines. I really don't. Like, I'll do a Riesling to a point, but anything after, like, Moscato and stuff like that, like, it, there's gotta be a time and place for it. But this, it says crisp, clean, and slightly citrus. I, I think so, but I think it's, it's, there's a smoothness to it and a sweetness to it. It's really delicious. Check this one out. Yes, absolutely. And now for the instant wine of the year. Instant. Like, I already literally wrote it down in my 2017 favorites notebook. Here we go. Chain Gang Monterey County Red Wine, and it's called Pitch Black. So it's super, the packaging's super cool. It's really a play on like the gangster type of thing. Silky sable elements of classical varietals are chained in the pitch black cellar of this deeper, darker, richer California chain gang blend. Black fruit notes hold captive the spice profile of roasted oak, pepper, tobacco, and exotic vanilla, which unlock a deeper finish. The vanilla with that tobacco is a smoky vanilla flavor in the most flattering way possible. Like, remember last week I talked about that smoked vanilla candle I picked up? It reminds me of that, and it also reminds me of like Tom, Vo Tom Ford's uh, Tobacco Vanilla Parfum. Oh my gosh, it's so lovely, it's unexpected, it's, this is the next wine you need to serve at your next dinner party, friend get together, Friday night, by yourself, binge watching YouTube or Netflix wine. You need to. You just need to. Pitch black. It beats Apothic Red. Yep. Just buy that. All right, let's talk about, I got lots of makeup, and I got, oh, I want to show these first, actually. So I am a nightgown person. I like to wear nightgowns. I like to be comfortable. I mean, I have my crappy, ugly stuff that I walk around in, or like my big t-shirts and stuff, but I really enjoy nightgowns. And I saw Lisa Lisa D1 show these, oh, now it's probably been a couple of weeks ago in her Friday haul, but I love when she shares those types of things because I don't always want to just go out and search for those types of things. I like to order online because it's easy, but American Eagle, or Aerie, I guess, Aerie, had these, and they were like $15, $15 in some sense, or 16 around $16. They were basically half off. And so I picked up two. Oh, I love, I love the lace on this one. It's like that, uh, what is it called? Not eyelid, but it's that wispy lace. So beautiful. So you could also wear these as like a slip underneath a dress maybe, and just have like the peekaboo lace show through. I mean, they are kind of sheer, so I wouldn't recommend this, like, if you have company over or something like that. But it does have the racer back style, and it is all adjustable. Because if you're anything like me, I need adjustable straps, because more than likely the straps are going to be too long. But this is the gray color. And even the bottom has that wispy eyelash lace. That's what it is. Oh, it's so pretty. 
so 20s you know I really like the 20s style and I really like the 50s 50s 60s style but well a little 60s but mainly that classic Mad Men and 1920s thing can you see a theme like the gangster yeah anyways <clears throat> so I picked up that one and then I got it in cream it also comes in a really pretty blue color but I could not pass up cream I think cream is just so feminine so pretty and once again, it's the same exact thing, just a different color. So I wanted to share those with you in case you're a night girl, girl like me and they were on sale and who does not like a sale? Oh, I was going to mention this. This did not come in time for my haul, but I also picked up the Juno um, oil from Sunday Riley. It's a hydroactive cellular face oil. It has a lot, I didn't keep the box, but it has a lot of different like types of uh, plant oils in it. And this is a blend of cold-pressed powerhouse superfood seed oils. Um, let's see. Omega-369 UV shields and natural anti-inflammatory agents for a luminous, radiant complexion. Vitamin A and C. Um, it helps increase collagen. Antibiotics protect from free radicals. I love facial oils. I think they're beautiful. I've been mixing this with either my Clinique moisturizer. Sometimes I've been doing that during the day even if I'm not going to wear makeup just for the extra moisture or my Belief moisturizer at nighttime. So loving this so far and it doesn't, if you're like sensitive to smells, you know what this smells like? Oh my gosh. I didn't pay attention before but it smells like a little bit like oregano or like, well, a little bit of pizza sauce but not really. Maybe that's too dramatic. It's nice. It's pleasant. It's not um, overly like anti. It's not overly planty. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it is lovely. The bottle is beautiful. I like to just display these on my counter, quite frankly. I like to look at my like little apothecary of skincare. It's just I don't get to make excited. I'm really into like taking care of my skin. All right, let's talk about some makeup because we have some good stuff this week. So one of you guys reminded me that i completely forgot to talk about this powder in my yearly favorites and you even asked um shannon you asked me if it's still a favorite yes <laughs> i just when i was making that i started that list a while ago and you know i was still making it in the course of moving and stuff and by the time i got everything set down i really wanted to film that video first i thought about some things after i filmed the video of course and one product that was new to me last year and it was an instant love and i talked about it and i used it a few times it's the by terry hyaluronic hydra powder this is bomb this is great for setting your under eye area if now because of the hydration in it and the hyaluronic acid it's going to be more hydrating so if you're really oily you might not want to set your whole face with this but why i love this is because it not only sets your makeup but it blurs like it fit it sets the concealer and it just it's like it just creates this like blurring effect underneath your eyes which really for me when I look in the mirror things just look clean and clear and smooth and that's what I want from a powder I wanted to like set my concealer to prevent it from creasing and moving throughout the day and I also wanted to just look smooth under there because you want people to pay attention to your eyes not like what's underneath them kind of thing so yes major favorite I forgot to share it with you, but you guys, if you watch me all the time, you already knew that. Now, the, my favorite way to apply my under eye as of, since I brought this brush basically, um, I always, and I've talked about forever, the Real Technique setting brush. I use that forever, but this is bigger and softer and better and the perfect size. This is the Wayne Goss number 35 airbrush. Came out last summer. It originally was limited edition, but it's still on there. So I definitely recommend picking this up. I love this for setting my under eyes. It does it quickly. It's so soft. It's It picks up the right amount of product. It lays it down nicely. I mean, it's just a really beautiful brush. Very luxurious. And I just like to use it to set even my T-zone if I'm going to. Like if I put concealer here, I got to set it so it doesn't like, you know, look funky and stuff like that. Look at this chunk. <laughs> don't let me cut your bangs if you ask me another thing I wanted to mention this week as far as powder is concerned I filmed my Mac blush collection which I already uploaded so if you've seen that if you didn't see it I'll have it linked below but one of these this powder was in one of my blush palettes and I never reached for it because it was in my blush drawer so I decided to pull it out and I ordered one of these tiny little Z palettes because it's perfect for you know 
travel or to throw in a couple, you know, you could put eyeshadows in here or, you know, like contour powder and a setting powder or whatever the heck you want. But I ordered this. So stinking cute, isn't it? Um, but we're talking about the MAC Emphasize Powder. Um, I actually used this to set my under eyes today and I really like it. Um, it's brightening. It's not powdery. It's very smooth. It has the smallest little reflex of like, what's the word? Not glitter. Let me get my mirror. Where's a mirror? Not glitter, not shimmer. Just really, no, and you know what? I don't even see it anymore. So I'm not even gonna tell you that it was there. I mean, it was there. But when you first apply it, you can see a little bit of like, like a reflection or whatever. But it really just sets nicely. It's not heavy, it's lightweight. So MAC Emphasize, this is good. This is good stuff. And now that it's in here and I have it in my powder drawer, I'll actually reach for it. So I wanted to share that with you. I neglected that bad boy. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk about eyes. For eyelashes this week, I dug out my cream, creme, um, number 702. They look like this. Here, these are $1.99. I'm wearing them, and they are a dupe, if not the exact same thing, as the House of Lashes Siren. These are $9, and the, I'm going to take this off so that it, the mirror doesn't reflect. So there's the Siren, and here is the cream. I would say the only difference is that the Siren are a little bit wispier on the ends, and they're cut a little bit more natural looking whereas these are a little harsher you know what I mean they're a little bit more pointy but basically you're going to get the same effect on the eyes for a lot less cheaper even the bands are really similar I I don't know I really think these are a good find and I, like I said these are $1.99 this lipstick is to die for I love this lipstick but I love the fact that it's not completely red it has the slightest pinky undertone in it that I think is so incredibly flattering and that's what makes it different from all of my other red lipstick like it's not like a brick undertone or a red undertone or a burgundy undertone it has the slightest pink and it is Tom Ford's lip color in the shade cherry lush I love this one the formula is creamy it's not heavy it's opaque but it has a really pretty like sheen to it it's just sexy. It's flattering. I love the slight pink. I don't love it on my teeth, however. Look at that. That's cute. It really makes your teeth look white because it has the blue-based tones to it, but it has that pinky undertone, which really takes it out of the red category a little bit and kind of puts it in more like, I don't know, super unique, you need this category. I don't know, I love this red lipstick though. It's just beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love just sitting down and chit-chatting with you. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. I look forward to it every single week. And as soon as I sit down and film this, I've already started my list of favorites for the next week because I can just sit and think, of, oh yeah, I was gonna tell them that. But I never wanna overwhelm you guys with too many things. So I definitely already have a few things that I'm looking forward to sharing with you next week. So yes. I hope you guys enjoy this new schedule Wednesday and Saturday. I hope you enjoyed this um, weekly chat. If you're new, welcome. Say hello to everyone. We are a giant family here, and I look forward to chatting with you guys soon. Bye, guys.